I'm in Bristol. <laughs> Hi, by the way, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. And uh, I've just got off the train because I am having a work do here. Well, not a work do, it's like a work lunch. It's uh, just lunch with work people. <laughs> anyway, um, I just got off the train at Bristol, as you'll have seen uh, I, from the, the intros are hard. Anyway, let me tell you why I'm a little bit discombobulated. Sorry if it's windy, I do have a wind muff, so hopefully that is helping. But yeah, so I'm in Bristol for a work lunch. So I'm meeting my work people uh, in about an hour and a half, but I wanted to come in early and just have a bit of a look around. I think I've been to Bristol once before, but not really properly to like have a proper look around. So I thought it'd be nice to just wander around and just see what Bristol is like. I've always heard it's a really cool place. My boyfriend actually went to university here. So he's always said it was such a nice place. So anyway, backstory then right I'm getting the train in obviously I'm aware that like I'm going to meet work people here so there are going to be work people around so I'm a bit sort of cautious about vlogging and stuff I don't ever tell work people by the way that I have a YouTube channel just don't <laughs> I feel like if I knew that work people were watching my channel then that might make me feel like I needed to edit myself a bit more I don't know question actually to anybody that does vlog do you tell work people I know sometimes work people just find out especially if you're a bigger vlogger but I don't really have that problem <laughs> oh man literally as soon as I started vlogging the wind has picked up a bit so yeah um, I don't really have that problem although one time I did have somebody actually come and say hi which was so nice but when I was at a work thing <laughs> and the two people that worked for me uh, on my team in my last job were like what what are you talking about what is this uh, but luckily it was actually my leaving party so <laughs> and then I kind of like downplayed and I was like oh I just have like a Disney Instagram whatever and that was fine but yeah I don't I don't like I don't ever tell people that I work with that I've got a YouTube channel so I was feeling a bit sketch obviously about vlogging <laughs> um in this place like in Bristol when I'm gonna be meeting work people and I knew my boss was gonna come in a little bit early uh but I didn't think he'd be coming in as early as I was coming in <laughs> because uh, I came in like an hour and a half before but I knew he was coming to have a quick drink before the lunch so anyway get off the train and you see I did a little bit of b-roll just outside the station and then I was just about to pull my camera out to start vlogging um, and I was like oh I don't know like what if he's on my train or whatever so I was like oh just wait a second then what do I hear but my boss's voice like right in front of me <laughs> like oh god so I was chatting I chatted to him anyway and um he and it was himself and like another one of the managers they've just gone off for um, a drink which is fine <laughs> so now I know they're like in a pub somewhere having a drink and uh, I'm not gonna see him however I will mostly vlog with the camera not facing my face you know so I'll just show you guys because then I feel like if I did bump into somebody that's not so weird because then I can just like oh I'm just taking a picture you know like photography blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so anyway, I'm in Bristol. Um, uh, I'm gonna have a wander around and then I'm gonna go meet my work people for the first time. So that was actually my first time meeting my boss as well, uh, just to make the whole situation extra awkward. Like if he had to run into me <laughs> vlogging, I'm like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> Where I am now actually is just down by the harbor. Uh, so one of the, the guys that I just met from my job, he said that this area is quite nice. It's got like converted shipping containers and stuff. So they're just behind me over there. So I think I'm gonna go have a wander around that area. I could kind of maybe do with a second coffee just to get, you know, some energy for the day. <laughs> Honestly, socializing is so draining these days, don't you guys think? Even though obviously like I'm really happy to be here and stuff, but <laughs> socializing in general, I find so draining right now. But also, did I say welcome to the vlog? Welcome to the vlog, if I didn't say that. Uh, it's another weekly vlog. Obviously, I'm starting this vlog a bit later than I normally would, just because I think I'm gonna get a good bit of footage probably here. And then also my sister's coming for the weekend. So uh, she's coming tomorrow on Friday. And we're, uh, we've got a few things planned. So we're gonna meet up with my friends Hannah and Natasha. We're gonna go to a bow bun place, which I'm super excited about because I love bow buns. There's a bow cafe, I think it's called, in uh, King's Cross, which looks really nice. And then also on Saturday, we're going to another football game. And I think that's all we have planned actually, but um, I'm sure we'll do some other bits and pieces as well. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna crack on because it's windy here and also I'm starting to get some weird looks. Yeah. Literally like a group of teenage girls were just walking past there and they were all staring at me. <laughs> Right as I finished off that bit. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the most awkward vlog. So the guy I was chatting to was saying that there's a turntable bridge. Is that, I guess, is that what this is? Is this a turntable? 
it has these two like funky speaker things which is cool so you can see there's this really trendy area right by the water you can definitely feel that this is a hip university city there's definitely lots of young people around lots of trendy places i bet this area is hopping <laughs> when there's university nights out and stuff but yeah it's really cool i am kind of looking out for somewhere to just stop and have a coffee and also use the loo <laughs> um i didn't think to use the loo in the train station or on the train or anything so that was an error uh, also you can see the weather is shocking so hence why i have my raincoat on <laughs> and uh, also making it even more awkward to vlog <laughs> So I've made it up to Bristol Cathedral. Sorry guys, it is super windy. <laughs> it's still raining. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really, really pretty. I also, uh, when I took the train here, I drove, drove, <laughs> the train went through Bath. I feel like Bath and Bristol have a similar sort of aesthetic, I guess. Like this, this in particular really reminds me of Bath, this area right here. So yeah, I think, <laughs> I am just going to have a very quick wander and then I'm just going to go meet my work people for a drink because uh, if I stay out too much longer in this weather I'm just going to look like a drowned rat for lunch. This is the current vibe. <laughs> I cannot get my hood to stay up properly but also it's too windy for an umbrella. Um, we are going to the ivy as well which is like kind of fancy so uh, yeah I don't want to look like a drowned rat so I think I am going to pretty much just wander back down towards the harbour and then go meet my boss and uh, my other work colleague and have a drink before we go for lunch. <laughs> I did find a coffee. I went into Costa and got a gingerbread latte. They're back. Yay. And although I don't think they gave me the little gingerbread man. No, they didn't. Rude. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, gingerbread lattes are back. Yay. And um, oh God, it's starting to rain heavier now. <laughs> oh no. So the little gingerbread guy is actually in my drink, but as you can see, he's proper drowning. So um yeah, I won't be taking him out. <laughs> I also hate biscuit bits in my tea. So uh, I feel like normally they used to put the gingerbread on top of the lid and then you would like dip it or something. But yeah, he's just like drowning away. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hey. So we've just come into Fornham and Mason in St Pancras Station. Rachel is here, as you have seen her arrive. Well, I'm so excited. I literally haven't vlogged all day. Rachel had to wake me up from a nap. <laughs> so that we could get out on time and I'm just vlogging on my phone by the way but yeah we're just having a little look in for him and Mason because they're a bit early to meet the girls all the packaging is just fabulous we've got a big tin of MS shortbread the other day did you? Yeah, but I love the, shortbread the shortbread that they were selling in the packet was like 4 euro and the big packet of MS Shortbread was like six euro. They've got a really good range in for Halloween. So they've got Witch's Brew hot chocolate. They've got gruesome toothpaste treats. Oh, what are these? Witch's fingernails. <laughs> but these are very similar to something they had out last year. It says they're new though, but um, and they do look different to be fair to what we had last year. But basically, it's a selection of truffles, and I think they have some mad flavors in there. If this is the same thing as what they had last year, basically they have just some mad flavors in there. Like we had what curry and yeah, chili, chili yeah so you just get hit with some like really random flavored truffles so we've come to Circe's which is a champagne bar in St Pancras I've been here before quite a few times it's actually one of my favorite places in London I think it's a bit of a hidden gem it's upstairs in St Pancras station and look you've got this amazing view of the station and actually to the left here is where the Eurostar trains go off so we just saw one of the Eurostars take off to Paris but one of the best things is the press for champagne button so uh, if you hit the press for champagne button they will come and uh, you can get some champagne and I really like to use the little champagne bottle for reserving the tables oh don't press it you've already got champagne Ooh, it's like magic <laughs>
It is Saturday morning now. We're just about to head out to the Chelsea game. I'm not gonna take my camera again, so I'm gonna just vlog on my phone. I think it worked out all right yesterday. So hopefully when I'm editing this, I'm not regretting that. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna take my phone because yeah, I don't want to be carrying a camera around and stuff. We're literally just taking jackets. We're not taking bags or anything. It's also gonna be raining. So this camera doesn't do well in rain. <laughs> Oh. He doesn't support Chelsea. Oh no! <laughs> That's a just losing his mind. It's because Rachel Porter's. <laughs> Rachel's just got the Chelsea scarf out. But Pumbo's just losing his mind. You literally creeped up to the edge of the cake. We did! And just started barking at your scarf. Yeah, it's definitely the scarf. Mm. It's a bit late for this one, but. <laughs> We're just at Canary Wharf. Jubilee line, we're heading to Waterloo to get the train. Sunday morning and we've just got some McDonald's breakfast delivered with an extra hash bite. Where is my extra hash bite? <laughs> it's in the bag. Oh it's, oh, it's in that bag? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Um, so I always get extra hash brown. Sometimes I put a hash brown in the sausage and egg McMuffin and then I have a hash brown separately. But I mean, hash browns are the highlight of the breakfast. So, And uh, I've just gone for a soft drink so I've just got Coke Zero. Can't wait. And then in case you're interested, Rachel got a bacon and egg McMuffin and also an extra hash brown. <laughs> So I didn't actually show you guys what we picked up in Fordham and Mason the other day. So we got some of this freshly ground coffee. Um, I haven't tried Fordham and Mason coffee before, I don't think. So we're about to have a cup of this now. And then we also got some milk chocolate coated sar caramel? Salted caramel biscuits. These are my favourite biscuits from Fordham and Mason. They come in this container like this. I've had the lemon ones before, like lemon and chocolate. I think I've showed them before around Christmas time. They're expensive though. It's £10 for a box of the chocolates, but I'll show you them when I open them. They're really thick and they're just so, so good. So you can hear Bumba having some water in the background. Uh, I'm having my coffee in my cruise line mug. I haven't actually used this mug yet, so. Excited to give it a try. Rachel has got a, a buzz, buzz mug, mug, which is uh, one my friend got me, which is so cute. And here are the biscuits. Don't they just look amazing? Can't wait to try these ones. Like I say, I normally get the lemon ones, but they come in this sort of a case. They're the milk chocolate coated ones and they're massive. <laughs> so Rachel is on her way to the airport. I'm so sad. I feel like her time here always goes super fast. And yeah, I'm always really sad when she leaves. It doesn't matter how long it's been since I've moved to London. It's like over six years now. I always miss home. I always miss my family. Uh, but luckily I'm heading home in a few weeks. So I'd have to keep telling myself that. But yeah, it's weird. Like I don't feel like it's been that long and obviously it's been six years. I'm such a family person. So sometimes it just feels a bit surreal that I'm still in another country. <laughs> I've actually started editing this vlog and realized it's shorter than what I expected. I thought I would get more footage, but I was just having such a nice time. <laughs> Obviously in Bristol it rained, which was not ideal, although I have been trying to manifest colder weather, so I feel like I brought that on myself. <laughs> Uh, but I have been really enjoying the colder weather. I can finally get my hoodies out. This is the one I got from the Disney store uh, a couple of weeks back. And it actually, I think, has sold out because I know my sister really liked it. She wanted to get it, but I think it sold out. But I'm loving the colder weather overall. It's so nice. But I really did have such a fun week. I got some footage on Friday when I went out with Hannah and Natasha and we went to the Baobun Cafe in King's Cross and I highly recommend it. It was so, so good. If you like the cheeseburger pods, at Satuli Canteen, they do a cheeseburger bao bun there and it's so much better. <laughs> you get a proper meaty burger, it's cheesy, it's got lovely sauce on it, it's so, so good. But all of the other stuff was amazing as well. Yeah, highly recommend that place. Uh, it's a bit, it's quite informal, like it was a bit loud and stuff in there as you might have heard, but uh, that's exactly what I like. <laughs> then you saw we did the Chelsea game on Saturday and they won 3-1, which was amazing. It was tense 
for a little while there when it was 2-1 but yeah they pulled through and it was 3 which is great because last time we went to see them they did not win <laughs> Well, we saw some really cracking goals, which was good. And then, yeah, today we literally just chilled. We have also binge watched the entire Squid Game series. We started that yesterday when we got back from the game and we literally sat for nine hours and watched the whole thing before bed. And uh, yeah, like I say today, we were going to go out. We were talking about maybe going over to Brewdog in Canary Wharf again, but today is actually the day of the London Marathon and so that area is actually part of the course and stuff so it just would have been really awkward so again we just basically stayed in and did nothing well the time flew by and yeah like I say it always goes so fast when she comes over uh Rachel's gonna come back over early December which will be fun because that's when we'll be doing vlogmas and uh, we've got some really fun Christmassy things planned for when she comes back so I'm looking forward to that I might get to see her also in November if we get to go away but uh still no word yet on when the u.s border is open that just seems so surreal to me that there's a possibility i could be going away in a month and i don't know whether it's happening or not yet and it's to the u.s and oh it's hawaii and it's just mad it's just mad so i got some really good comments though from people like talking about what the situation's like in california and then i'm just starting to watch my friend jen the forge she has a Disneyland series coming out. So I'm going to watch that closely. And yeah, so I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Also then, this week was the 50th anniversary in Walt Disney World. And I, to be honest, <laughs> I've just not been feeling it. <laughs> I don't know about any of you guys. Obviously, I'm not there. I was actually originally gonna have the very end of my trip cross over with the 50th anniversary but I purposely timed it so that I would be leaving I think a day or two after the 50th because I didn't really want to be hanging around when it was mad crowds and I've watched a couple of vlogs I watched uh Tyler Travels TV that's Jessica Braun's husband's channel and uh he actually did I thought a quite a good vlog from what it's actually like the morning of the anniversary because you know it basically took him ages to get to the park and stuff and then he was just walking around and the queues for the merch was mad it was like a queue to get into a virtual queue to get into a queue to get into the shop uh, and then you just couldn't get food and everything. It was just pretty crazy. So uh, yeah, I, I think like if I had been there, I probably would have had a very similar morning to what he had, which was basically just wandering around and being like, yeah, yeah I was here. And then, oh, like there's, I don't really want to stay here <laughs> and just leave. There's also been quite, I wouldn't even say mixed reviews, probably quite overall it seems quite negative reviews of the of the new shows which is a shame uh, obviously I'll wait until I see them in person but uh yeah I don't know I just I feel like these anniversaries and things they sound great in theory but actually the practicality of being there and being in the park on the day is not really that enjoyable particularly nowadays I just think I definitely have a much lower tolerance for you know wanting to be somewhere that's busy and crowded for obvious reasons and so yeah I don't think I, I particularly would have enjoyed it but uh, I don't know I might watch a few more vlogs and stuff but I've just yeah I've just not been that fussed about it to be honest. <laughs> Also, it seemed like there wasn't that much extra entertainment. It seemed to be, you know, merch, obviously, that people were queuing for and then special snacks. And then, you know, there was a special park map and a pin or something. But if, for me personally, if I'd been there, I would have wanted to see, you know, a really special anniversary show or, you know, something like that. I feel like when I saw the last Disneyland Paris big anniversary, they had a, a cool show like a parade going down main street and all the cast members were in it and stuff and i know maybe that's to do with covid restrictions and stuff but then when you see how busy the park is it's like well is it really i don't know be interested to know what you guys thought what your reactions were to kind of what what you saw of what the anniversary was like to like and you know would you have liked to have been there or are you just really not that fussed and yeah i'll hopefully get to see most of what is there for the celebrations when I eventually get back to Walt Disney World. So I am looking forward to that. Uh, I really think the castle looks pretty. I think they've done a really good job with that. And it's good to see that they're, you know, doing some bits and bobs in terms of refurbs and refreshing a lot of things. So yeah, I'll be so excited to get back to see that. But 
definitely don't feel like I missed out on much by not being there for the anniversary. So I think I will leave this weekly vlog here. Sorry it was a bit shorter than usual, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all next week. Hope you have a really good week and I'll talk to you then. Bye.